Dick Rochford here. Six zero zero Yankee Papa. Hyper M six hundred. Just so you, you folks know, even rich people use the ILS. Prima facie evidence. We're intercepting the localizer at John Toon. Not the Yankee Papa radar service terminal kind of. John Toon Tower, 119.45. Switching Tower, 19.45. Good day, Yankee Papa. Not because we have to, but because we should, just to practice with it. Toon Tower, zero Yankee Papa is on an eight-mile final for the ILS. Two zero, full stop. Number zero, six six Yankee Papa, John Toon Tower, will report a three-mile final. Runway two zero, number three zero zero four. Three double four will report three miles. Zero Yankee Papa. All right, so here's where we can see the three-mile final. RW20. And so now we know the and importance Charlie Tango, traffic of the keeping the GPS miles, sequencing correctly. So if you short circuit the GPS, you'll still get a localizer, but you won't get your DME correctly. And that got somebody killed out in uh, Lake Tahoe a few, quite a few years back, but that's how that happens. Glides alive. All right, below 170, we're going to bring the gear down. And there's your flap speed. Flap's going to take off. 7,500 pounds. And here comes your glide path. Roger, maintain visual frequency change approved. Glide slope. Synthetic vision is set up to display the threats de jour. We have traffic out there. We have traffic here, of course. We have obstacles, and we have terrain. All the news that's fit to print on this fine day. There are 600 Yankee Papa, three miles. Center number 600 Yankee Papa, runway 20, clear to land. Clutland 2-0, zero, zero Yankee Papa. VHS-6, frequency change approved. VHS-6, copy, thank you. Tower, Cherokee 8860 Whiskey. Cherokee 8860 Whiskey. Right, so when the runway's in sight, not proper it is, let's try tapping off the autopilot. And just gently bring the nose up just a little with trim. It's, you only got a knot and a half to lose. Then get your flaps and put the path marker right back on the threshold with trim. Now that should work. It shouldn't take a power change. Seems like it does up to 500 with the flaps full. Well, okay, so 500 is where it should have been, right? I mean, 500. I mean, by our standard pitch we were, power configuration. Oh, I know we were less than that. We were 480 we're or so. 440 or so. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So you see, this is right where you were after you diddled the power last time. Just high 90s, 100 knots is right where we want to be now. All right, three green flaps landing. Clear so I'm lands. happy with that. Are you happy with that? I'm happy. Minimums. Minimums. Looking good.
feel like you're right of center just a little. And just right there, hold it off. Yep. It's going to take a Scotia right rudder when the nose comes up. Nicely done. Back pressure, brakes, and beta. 